Tommy, 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 I had Sonny on the phone, okay? Are you with me? I don't know about you, but there's something about a man threatening to murder my family which really scares the crap out of me. What are you gonna do? Ken, take it easy. I am calm. Calm as a man can be when he's fearing for his life. Stay off the idiot fuel and look after yourself. No one's gonna take us out. I'll see you later. I am calm. Don't I sound calm? Must be impending death that is doing this to my voice. Hey, oh, Tommy, Tommy. We got a situation over at Printworks. You better go and check it out. I don't know, some kind of mess or other. Things are messed up. I gotta go. Mario. Oh. Okay, what's the emergency? Oh. Who? Oh, Tommy. Some mob thugs said they'd come to take their cut. Said it was a Mr. Farello's money. Oh, I feel like crap. Farelli? Sonny Farelli? Yeah, that's the guy. I think. They were very Holy insistent. Pop. I'm not angry with you. Get him to the hospital. Tommy, rip that guy a new asshole for me. I'm gonna rip him too! I cannot bring myself to explain it for him. Yet, like breakdancing, it is sadly catching on. A man who appears on this fine show because our previous know-it-all panelist was carjacked and is now at home arming himself to the teeth. I give you John F. Hickory. How y'all doing? Indeed. So, before we get started, gentlemen, let me remind you of the rules of engagement. Here on Pressing Issues, the number one rated show on public radio in the Vice City area and hosted by me, Maurice Chavez, Pressing Issues is about free speech, not feeding each other hammer, literally or metaphorically. Hey, my daddy used to grow that stuff in the backwoods in Missouri. Hey, I tell you what. Yes, thank you. I expect you to listen to each other, and I will only step in where necessary so people on the air don't forget what my voice sounds like. <laughs> <laughs> I want a clean fight. Nothing below the belt or in the chops. And remember Maurice's motto, which a very wise man, my father, once told me. If you listen, one day you might be hurt, and when in doubt, use the smell test. That's so important, I think, don't you? So, Congressman, let's start with you. Crime is up, people are scared to walk the streets, nobody is taking public transportation, police morale is at an all-time low, everyone is healing and maiming and giving each other the finger, metaphorically speaking. Do you think the government is doing a good job? Absolutely. Well, those statistics are interesting, but like all statistics, they are also irrelevant. Yeah, let me give you a better statistic, Chavez. In 1980, when I was elected, you were, according to the intelligence gathered on you, a man with no mission. You worked as a clown at birthday parties, corporate functions, bar mitzvahs, and go-go bars. You, realizing that you were a hollow man that can only take on the personality of others, decided to become an actor. And despite going up for 17 auditions that year, you only got work as a fluffer in a sex ed video. Your tax returns show that you earn less than $2,000. Suffering from anxiety, you attended group therapy for a year and considered getting a sex change. An idiot liberal felt sorry for you, and now you host your own radio show, write a newspaper column that mines my birdcage, You've got an ex-wife and attractive girlfriend, although she's married to your best friend, and you're on top of the world. So answer me this. Can you really say the years of living under my administration have been bad for you? Uh, uh, we are not... Mr. Harwood Butcher. You tell Sonny to stay away! You're gonna die to sin. My city is mine now, not his! Go up in the field and listen to rock and roll or whatever you call it. Meanwhile, Grayshaw, I know your father. He's made a lot of money, which makes him a great person. But for every good conservative, they end up having some wacko common kid just back from a vacation in the Orient who wants to share. Go take that share in business to Cuba, Canada, or somewhere. 
don't have a trust fund or a rich daddy. I know what it is to be poor and to look at the world from the other side. I slept my way to the top. Hey, him, you two would stop uh, hooting and carrying on. I have a plan that will save Florida from the yellow-bellied snakes that want to slither into this great state from all places north. Oh, look. Stump-jumping Jethro is using all three of his brain cells to talk. Enough! We've just started, and you have proved yourself, Mr. Shrub, to be just as they said. I grant you, 1980 was not a high point in my career, but I never applied for a sex change. I was merely in an exploratory phase, and besides which, saw the wheat-free clown was a funny act. Once voted best up and coming dietary restricted comic act in the whole of Vice City. I tried to take it to the caskets, but Mount Scary Large was poor. Besides, we are not talking about me, we are talking about you. Actually, if I remember correctly, you didn't win. Mary the meat-free mime won. In fact, under legislation I am proposing, all of you vegetarians would be kicked out of Vice City. We were given canines and bicuspids for a reason. To open packages of potato chips. Hey, don't get me wrong. I always hated that bitch. What's funny about a woman not eating a hamburger? Or miming saving a chicken from the slaughterer's hands? Or her big act, I am a milk cow, a lactating machine for your breakfast cereal. 